Hi, I am Georgios Papadopoulos and welcome to this video on TSCH Medium Access Control MAC protocol and its pseudo-random channel hopping sequence. The IEEE 800.215.4 task group has been driving the development of low power, low data rate and low cost wireless mesh technology. In 2016, the time slotted channel hopping mode was added in the 2015 revision of the IEEE 802.15.4 standard to offer a certain level of quality of service. TSCH is designed for reliable and deterministic access to the communication medium while enabling long radio sleep intervals to guarantee low power operation. It is essentially a combination of time division and frequency division multiple access in conjunction with a radio channel hopping technique. In a TSCH network, the continuous time is divided into time slots of equal length. Then a set of time slots are grouped into a slot frame structure that repeats in time for the whole duration of the network lifetime. A time slot is long enough, typically 10 milliseconds, for a node in the network to send a maximum sized 127 byte frame to its neighbor and for that neighbor to send back a link layer acknowledgement. For each time slot, there are 16 radio channels available where each radio channel has bandwidth of 2 MHz and a channel separation of 5 MHz. The schedule orchestrates all the possible communications of a node with its neighbors and it is managed by the uh, scheduling function. Indeed, the actions of a node on each time slot within a slot frame are determined by the schedule of that node. Thus, at each time slot, each node knows if it has the right to transmit a frame and to whom, or it must stay awake to receive a frame or it can sleep to save energy. The schedule can be represented as an M multiplied by N matrix, where M is the length of the slot frame in time slots and N is the number of available radio channels to hop, as you can see here. An element in the schedule matrix is called a cell, which is defined by the time slot offset and channel offset pair. A cell's time slot offset indicates its position in time relative to the beginning of the slot frame, and a cell's channel offset is an index which maps to a frequency or radio channel that a node should tune its radio transceiver to. Each packet exchanged between the neighbors happen within one cell. Next, the channel hopping approach provides increased reliability to multipath fading and external interference. It is handled by TSCH through a channel hopping sequence where at each time slot the physical radio channel to be used by the radio is computed by the following equation, where absolute slot number or ASN indicates the number of time slots uh, elapsed since the network started the channel offset we have previously explained, then n frec is the number of available physical radio channels, and finally f is a lookup table function that translates the results from the operation to actual radio channel, from radio channel 11 to 26 in 2.4 GHz band. Let's take an example to see how it works. Let's assume that the node T acts as a transmitter while the node R as a receiver. Then here we have the schedule of node T where X axis represents the time slot offset and as it can be observed a slot frame consists of 7 time slots, while the Y axis represents the channel offset uh, that comes with 16 different values from 0 to 15 and they represent the total available physical radio channels. Finally, on the left side we have the lookup table where the channel offset index values of the first column are matched with the physical radio channels of the second column. 
Now, if we consider the scenario where the node T is scheduled to transmit on channel offset 1 and time slot 3, which is on ASN 4, then by applying the pseudo-random channel hopping sequence for the first slot frame cycle K, we have the following. 4 plus 1 is equal 5, then 5 modulo 16, the result is 5. We then consult the lookup table to obtain the actual radio channel, and in this case the value 5 indicates the radio channel 16. In the next slot frame cycle, k plus 1, where channel offset remains equal to 1, however in this iteration the time slot 3 is on ASN 11. Thus we have 11 plus 1 equal 12, then 12 modulo 16 results to 12. As a result, the node T is going to transmit over the radio channel 23 according to the lookup table, where the value 12 indicates the radio channel 23. The same process is repeated during the subsequent slot frames. Thus, in the slot frame cycle K plus 2, the node T will transmit over the radio channel 14, while in K plus 3 it will transmit over the radio channel 21.